For me, um, in April 2017, I was having breakfast before school one day and I read about girls in the UK having to miss school because they couldn't afford pads or tampons. And these girls were sometimes as young as nine or 10 and missing a week every month, or they were forcing themselves to go to school and use toilet paper, tissue, newspaper, socks, whatever they can find just to be able to get an education. And personally, I'd never heard of that happening and I've never gone through that myself. So it really shocked me and made me feel like something had to be done. So when starting a campaign, it's really important to know your subject and to know what you're dealing with. If you have a bank of information and knowledge to really defend yourself and make it clear that what you're fighting for is a real and important issue, then that's really essential. When research has been done that found, has found that one in 10 girls can't afford menstrual products, it shows just how serious the issue is. My first step in using social media was starting the hashtag free periods and I found that really valuable in kind of kind of encapsulates what the campaign is aiming to do and then people could share that and use that and I found a lot of people have seen the campaign on Instagram or Twitter and then messaged me personally to ask what they can do which has been incredible. So when we held the Free Periods protest in December 2017, um, kind of creating art and creativity in general was really essential. We kind of told all these teenagers to get on board by creating posters or drawings and we had a sign painting evening the night before and try, kind of getting people to feel personally involved through things that they had created. It immediately helps to make them feel special and important and part of something a lot bigger. And for me, that was the first time I really kind of could see just how many people other than me cared about period poverty and were willing to turn up um, five days before Christmas at a really busy time. One of the most amazing things about my campaign is that I've reached out to people and I found friends who have been able to use the skills that they have that maybe I don't have and kind of do we've worked together we've collaborated and you also we're so much more powerful when we work together and I think there's definitely strength in numbers and organizing the protest in kind of doing the legal campaign and everything that the campaign has achieved so far has only happened because of other people and coming together and using all the different skills that we have and utilizing that. For me, starting my campaign, it has felt sometimes quite um, quite hard to try and kind of find the motivation and the energy, but I think it's really important to keep going, to try and reassure yourself that what you're doing is important and that sometimes without even realising you're having an impact, talk to the people who care about it and help them to remind you why you started it and why you're doing something so important and reassure yourself that you're on the right side.